Okay, I took too long last time. Let me make it as simple as I can. This is the atmosphere. This container holds 1 million parts. Of those 1 million parts, 780,000 of those parts are nitrogen. This is the amount of nitrogen in the atmosphere. That's a lot of nitrogen. Next, around 21% is oxygen. So again, we all like oxygen. Oxygen kind of keeps us alive. We breathe it. So there's all the oxygen in the atmosphere. Let's pat that down. Next, just for fun, a little frosting of uh, argon. Argon is a little, little bit less than 1% of the atmosphere. In the context of M&Ms, I now have 2,456 M&Ms in this jar of atmosphere. That leaves us one M&M of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide consists of 420 parts per million in the atmosphere out of the million, 996,700 whatever remaining. This is how much carbon dioxide we have in the atmosphere. Of that carbon dioxide, man is only responsible for the last 150 years of creating about one third of that carbon dioxide. The rest has always been there. In fact, it has been more of it in the past. Let's throw that in there, because by the way, for you kids who didn't pass biology, the earth will die without carbon dioxide. We need it for the, to keep the plants alive. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is the United States is only responsible for 13% of carbon dioxide emissions on an annual basis. So I would take this one third of an M&M and I would cut it down again. I can't even cut it that small, but let's try to get a little piece, there we go. This little speck of M&M, this little bit of M&M is what the United States is responsible for as far as carbon emissions are concerned. Why does anybody think that reducing this little speck of carbon dioxide is going to affect the climate? I'm waiting for an answer.